Hi, welcome to the Pandalorian Gaming. I'm just doing a little walkthrough uh, showing you how to get from your habitation to your ship for the first time. This time we're in Area 18. So if you just press Y, you can stand up and have a little look around your habitation. This is where you'll wake up every time, but you can't go to sleep here. It's a weird little setup. And you can press F to interrupt with things, that brings up this little menu, and whenever you get near to something, things will change. Uh, another good one you'll need is I for your inventory. It's all drag and drop. And it goes for your weapons, ammo, tools. So let's make our way to the ship for the first time. And you come out into the hallway, you could come out of any of these doors, and then you're just looking for the nearest lift. Area 18 is a very three-dimensional city, very cyberpunk-like. So we head for the lift. Okay. All the uh, elevator panels are interactable. If you hold F, you can scroll them up and down. We just want to go to the ground floor for exit. Sava, which is for clothing, and Cubby Blast is ammo, weapons, armour, and a bit of food and drink, I believe. I'm going to head around to the main square. Which is signified by this one, this uh, holographic cogs. Uh, if you ever come back here, um, up here you've got, in that first floor, ship modifications like modules and things and some ship weapons if you ever get into trading you'd be selling it at a place like this we want AC flight which is the shuttle service across there there's some other stores you've got to go walking back to that all the time and if you die while you're still tied to this location this is the hospital we want to get a, a shuttle through to all the signs are helpful, they are fairly accurate. Oh, there's a shuttle there now, can we make it? Yes. Just in time. So yeah, it's just a phenomenal place to be. The other stores I was mentioning include Dumpers Depot, which is accessible just up and around that corner. And if we'll see it, Astro Armada, where you can buy ships. Another shovel card overhead. on some of these uh, rooftops, there are landing pads and things. Just be careful where you go because it's uh, like a no-fly zone in some areas and you'll get autopiloted away. Now arriving. Oh, here we are. I'm just going to make our way around to the ship screens now.
do get a fine or a, a crime stat one, you can pay them off here. Anything higher, you're looking at prison time. So you've got four sets of screens there, and you've got four more here. If you want to rent, you've got a screen over there for that. We're just going to grab something small and quick and head up to the orbital station where that will conclude this little room. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the There you go, hangar 2, and we'll also see a little marker for its rough location. And then these lifts, they'll all go to any hangar. There's no pre designed lift. Again, there it is. it's an interactable menu, so we want hangar 2. couple of basics when we start. Um, I don't like this V-Joy option. It's very hairy on the handling. You can turn it off with a bind. If you just go to options and then key binds, advanced controls, customization, and then flight movement, you want this one here. And just if you just double click on it, enter your key bind, and then that will turn that off or switch between the two. Another good one to change is in the game settings, and if we scroll down to flight, get rid of this one as well, uh, set that to no. It just reduces your thruster um, ability when you're near to a, a wall or a floor. It makes it a little bit hard to control it when you're too close to something. You want to have maximum control. So at this point we then go to F11 and just click on the friends tab and call in landing services. To launch. I just gently lift up. I'll give you. A, this is re uh, relative mode. And if you flick to the other one, it's like trying to control the front of your ship with an elastic band. And then press N for gear. This here, this split, is the um, safe combat manoeuvring speed. Um, you'll get maximum manoeuvring anything below that. Anything above, you're only really good for a straight line. So you've got your pitch ladder, tells you what angle you're going up at. Your heat reading, so it's 5,667 metres people can find you. Uh, 9 kilometres for the size of the hull. And just under 6 kilometres for the... Um, electromagnetic uh, reading uh, alt uh, yeah, altitude currently uh, weapons loadout and ammo hydrogen and quantum fuel and then decoys and noise uh, that's purely to get rid of missiles um, you've got H for decoy J for noise so at this point we'll click F2 and take us to our star map uh, we're currently down here, denoted by this little symbol. You can locate yourself by clicking the little crosshairs at the top. And just slowly scroll in, and we'll start manipulating the planet. So you've got left mouse button to twist, and then right to move side to side. And we want to go to Bajini point. Uh, 
there should be a little dotted line, but it's not giving me that at the moment. So, if I click and say root, no, no, oh, there we go. So that's a proposed line to so wherever, and then to set it and lock it in, you see the line changes, and that will now give us a little marker in the bottom here, and over here we're looking for this little blue triangle telling us which way to look and then press B to bring up the quantum menu and then once all that's finished spooling we want to hold B to jump and then press B again to get rid of that if it's dark and the lights behind everything if you just press tab you can highlight what you're flying towards to make sure that you miss it see this velocity and like direction of travel so I'm clearly going to miss the station and now uh, we've had the little notification that we're in the area we can just go to F11 again and call in for somewhere to land please proceed to assigned landing bay N to put the gear back in. Landing gear deployed. So you cut this black to my right. And turn the lights off. Right, once we're over the pad, if we hold N, it will just centre you up nicely. F4 is the external camera. And that'll push you back inside. Um, what I didn't tell you at the start, um, you press U to turn everything off. To start everything, the quickest way of doing it is just pressing R for flight ready, and that puts everything back on again. And that concludes our little session going up to the station for the first time. I hope this helps. Um, if you want to give me a like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. If not, no worries. Right, this is Pandalorian Gaming. Enjoy your travels in the verse.